for a second. Oh. Hey guys, my name is Zach Brown. I'm here with uh, the Kodiak 100 Series 3 and today we're doing a photo shoot just to pretty much just gather some content and um, just for various usage, social platforms, website, stuff like that. And we're actually in here in Texas and we're at this grass strip. So today's main focus is really just to kind of get some short field takeoff and landings. We should have a really pretty sunset tonight. We should have the harvest moon rising in the west or the east. We should have, we should have the harvest moon Okay, I got this. <laughs> um, it looks like the harvest moon is going to be rising out of the east, so we should have the moon rising on one end of the airstrip, and then we should have the sunset in the opposite end. So it should make for some really stunning imagery. So the equipment that we're going to be using today is going to be this red Komodo paired up with this Atlas Orion 50 millimeter um, anamorphic lens. And this should make for some really beautiful images, especially right around golden hour. Personally, I've helped out with uh, Kodiak's content creation over the last three or four years. And I've learned a few things along the way um, with just aerial footage in general. And one thing I've learned is that you always have to be ready. You always have to be ready to hit record. You need to make the best use out of your time and be as efficient as possible. Um, it costs a lot to fly airplanes. And you know we, we have time to get certain shots, but we also don't have all the time in the world. You're racing the, you're racing the clock as far as light. And then you're also you know, trying to be as efficient as possible with the fuel consumption. So being ready and on the ground um, to shoot is always really important. So basically keeping an eye on where the Kodiak is at all times, whether you know, it does a takeoff and then you know, following it with the camera as it comes around, just to have an idea of where exactly it is. That was terrible, I completely missed that shot. That's what I mean by always be ready. <laughs> The other important thing that I've learned is communication. Communicating with your pilot before the shoot is extremely important because you need to be able to talk through exactly what the plan is once he gets up in the air or she gets up in the air. So yeah, I just kind of want to go over a little bit of the plan about like what we're going to kind of do before we get you up in the air and where we can kind of position cameras and whatnot. I think we'll have a nice sunset here in the west and I want to shoot facing west okay. so that I have the sun in the frame. Right, yeah, so this uh, east-west strip is 1,700 feet long. Um, it's a direct crosswind today, so the wind is out of the south, but that's not uh, too big of a deal. So what, what we can do is if you set up at the far east side of the runway, um, you can set the camera, you want that, that shot looking directly down the runway. So if you set the camera up, uh, you'll be talking on the scanner and uh, we'll, on the two-way radio. Um, at the far end, I'll start at the far west end with the sun behind me. I only need about 600 feet to take off today. Okay. Uh, so that's plenty of room. So that'll give me 600 feet. I'll be off by um, before midfield. That gives me more than 600 feet of abort room should I need to abort the takeoff for any reason. And then, yeah, once you get the camera rolling, just step off the side of the runway just so I'm not overflying you. And, um, and then we, you know, if we need to do it again or when we come back into land, um, we can just talk to each other um, just make sure to communicate what, what you want or what you want different. Okay. Uh, things like cool. that. Cool. Sweet. Let's do it. All right. I'm able to communicate via a two-way radio with the pilot and we can communicate that way as far as lining up the next shot. Hey Mark, so I'm pretty much set up here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit record and step off the, uh, the runway so you're clear for takeoff. Okay, great. Uh, you're clear of the runway and I'll be taking off right over the top of the camera. Good deal. Cool. Sounds good. So we've got the camera set up here, um, just keeping safety first and everything. Um, I'm gonna set up the camera, I'm gonna hit record, and then I'm going to step off the field that way. If he needs to abort or anything, then uh, I'm not in the way. All right, let's go. 
So we'll go back and hit stop record. That was pretty cool. So I'm super stoked on that. The sun's still a little hot, but it's about to drop and then we should get a nice moon pop over there. Um, and then we got like a few more minutes of light and that'll pretty much do it. Another thing I've learned is that shooting with the right equipment is extremely important because there's a lot of moving parts, a lot of things are, are moving quickly, and you want the plane to appear as, as natural as it would to the naked eye. Um, and in order to get that, you need certain things such as filters. You need to shoot in the correct uh, settings as far as shutter speed and shutter angle. Those two things are important specifically when it comes to shooting prop planes or turbo prop planes. You know, when you look at it with a naked eye, it looks like a, uh, a flat disc and the prop is blurred out. A lot of times if you shoot it with your phone, you'll see that the shutter speed is too high and it's trying to, you'll see the, the prop kind of glitch back and forth. Um, and you don't want it to look like that on camera, um, especially with you know a plane like this, you want it to look natural, you want it to look fast and you want it to look good. So using the, the right amount of filters and shooting in the right, uh, and shooting in the right shutter speed and shutter angle is, is really important. And finally, the other thing I've learned is just to have fun. I mean, it is a, it's a really cool experience to be out shooting these type of planes and to be out at these cool uh, remote locations where not a lot of people get to come. And um, so it's important to take a step back, enjoy it, um, don't overstress about it, and uh, just have a good time. And uh, more than likely, you'll come away with some really good shots. So that's what we're here for today, and hopefully we get some really good stuff, and I'm excited to, to see what we get out of it. Cool. That's pretty much a wrap, so let's go check the footage. <laughs>